We did it. We did it, everyone. We did it, Reddit. I hope you're all proud of me. Comite's data was added to Pokédex. Meteorite Pokémon. It can retract its legs into its body and appear to be an ordinary rock. Stories say they arrived on an asteroid. That's super cool. And it's a pure rock type. Um, name him Rocky. You know, because of the rocks. Uh, I actually like rock type Pokémons. They're very, very reliable. Hey, another great ball. Alright. So I actually don't have a Fortog then, huh? Interesting. Um, I guess I'll catch it just to fill out the Pokedex. I totally forgot to catch a, a Fort Fortog. Yeah, Ember the water type, you idiot. This is why you're a third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate Pokemon. Poisson Sting. Helmy's immune, you fool. It's a critical hit, but it's not very effective. Um, I don't really want to switch out uh, Helmy because he's just so damn tough. It's actually head him. Bonk. Shaboom. All right. Rob Torch was Poisson. Unfortunately, Helm is immune to your charms. Yeah, my wife just texted me. She's like, thank you for doing an Adam West impression. I want to watch the Adam West Batman with you. Um, I think I, I actually mentioned this in LPs that will come out in a few months now, but we recently watched uh, the... Uh, not the Tim Burton's. The Christian Bale Batman's. It's super effective. All right. Oh, jeez. That could be bad. Oh, man. It's so annoying trying to catch things in this stupid cave. Oh, God. You also can't run away, by the way, because that would be too easy. Yeah, let's just annihilate this balloon. <laughs> Slaughter this stupid thing. Help me, it's attack fell. Yeah, we're going to make it take even longer now. Hey, you know what? I'll be back. Just because I feel like I'm going to get into a couple more random... Oh, chop my mouse. A couple more random encounters. So, after a few of the longest fights ever, that tremor was nothing. We finally made it to the end. Dots. Hey, thanks for abandoning me in this dangerous cave, you shit ass. Also, the exit was right there. Oh. Is that right? Oh. All right, well. Turlard. <laughs> okay, cool. Endure, huh? It braced itself. Metal Claw. So I guess this is the evolved form of Grozard. Um, let's get Bolty in. Helmy can't be switched out. Well, that's because the pre-evolved form has Arena Trap, so this one probably does too. Okay, let's try tackling him. Probably won't do that good. Drowl. Is that attack? That's good. Because I want to capture you. Now that I think about it, haven't I already captured a better Atari? Yeah, that was dumb. I should have just waited for the evolved form. Let's 
do another headbutt. Magnitude. <gasps> oh my god. Tell me. Um, for those who don't know. Magnitude is a move that randomly rolls a number between 1 and 10, I think. Um, with 0 being almost nothing and 10 being a one-hit kill to most Pokemon. So, um, yeah, Magnitude 7 is pretty bad. And as you can see, it killed a thing that was... It killed a tank of mine in one hit. Let's risk a tackle from Bolty. We're actually the same level. And it's got Endure up as well. Wait, that's not tackle, that's stomp now. But actually, stomp is pretty good, so let's do it again. Slash, okay. This thing's got a great moveset. Okay, it's in the red. It was already shaking a lot. Let's go. Come on. Arg almost had it. You're damn right I did. I can't hurt it anymore, because anything I'll do to it will just kill it instantly. Come on. It appeared to be caught. Dude. If you excuse me, I'm just going to go check the wiki and see if you can even catch this stupid thing. Um, well, Turlard, you can defeat or capture it. Okay, cool, so you can capture it. Let's see if we can capture it. Come on! Dude. Open Pokeballs. Let's see if I have anything. Let's try Dusk Ball. It's good in caves and at night. Two shakes. Three shakes. Hatch. Oh, yeah. You're going to be named Bonolan. Turlar, double worm Pokemon. It's Ground Dragon! Turlar's two heads are completely independent, prone to argument. They managed to coordinate it all is a miracle. Nolan B, like Nolan Bushnell, he founded Atari and Chuck E. Cheese. True fact. Oh. More caves? You there, what happened to all the Pokemon that were going berserk? They calmed down. What? You fought a Turlard? Those things are really dangerous. That may have been the problem. Turtle has two hits fight again. Now fire relies on other Pokemon. Thanks for bringing peace to the cave. The trainers can get through without fear. Random battle. Frustration. So, um, by the way, I'm Alfred. Uh, I think I forgot to introduce this episode. <laughs> I'm a king. Round five, huh? Cool. Bashan, I want one of these. And it's a decent level, too. You can tell I'm having a good time with this game because I'm recording this in the same session that I recorded a couple of the other ones. If I'm not enjoying something, I will record it and then just kind of leave it. But whereas if I record like six episodes of something, then that's great beat up, huh? Right. Come on. Come on, Bashon. Alright. Bashon was caught. Hard horn Pokemon. Wow, it's dark fighting? Wool is prized as a fiber for extra rugged clothing. It's harder to raise than its docile cousin, Murray. Would you like to give a nickname? Yes. I will name it after my favorite Three Stooges, Shemp.
I'm gonna need a town. Hey, hey, where are you going? Oh, boy. Picnicker Jennifer would like to battle. Send out Kokoran. Oh, it's a little crab. <laughs> That's silly. It's got a coconut shell. Oh, it's a hermit crab wearing a coconut shell. That's kind of funny. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this thing is... Oh, my God. It's level 10. So you have chosen death by me. It's a defensive tank, though. Interesting. Ugh, it has a gross sound. Hermit crabs can be kind of gross. I will switch my Pokemon, yes. So what is it, like water bug? All right, Kokoran. Oh my god. I thought it would be level 10 like your first one. I didn't anticipate it being level 17. Little accidental switch training there. Sand tomb? That's not good. Oh shit. I'm gonna get whited out by this rando. Oh my god, I have to sack off all these Pokemon. I'm gonna die here. Got the poison barb on. Yes. <gasps> Aha! Because I'm a floating Pokemon, ground moves often don't affect me. Hell yes. <laughs> Try me, bitch. You will not harm the Pobo. I really don't want to die here, because I don't want to go all the way back to that stupid cave. Like, the, the things I mentioned in the earlier episode where there's just a lot, like, they just, the, the, they feel kind of sluggish, the, this game does. Water gun, that's not good. That barely be your last Pokemon, by the way. I don't have another one of these in me, I don't think. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's good. It feels, it feels so good to just completely noid an attack. Um, let's get dangerous. Oh my god, wait. Chubba was already in this battle. I should have swapped that to someone else so they could get new XP. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, at least Chubbo actually got a lick of this battle. Hey, Chubbo leveled up. Good job. And Pobo leveled up, too. Well, I shouldn't have asked. Damn right. Oh, come on. Give me a battle. I was trying to avoid her. Falling leaves are cool, but I was Bill Beach Le leaves Jeeches. Alana sent out Kinema. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm fighting for my life here. Sunda Shock. Oh, that's not good, is it? Okay, I can take another one of those. But I shouldn't. Because I can't actually do anything in this battle. Um, Snips, you're going to die. If you can take this one attack, then you will be allowed to quick attack him. Yeah. Lightning is, uh, or electricity is rather strong against uh, flying types, which that one is. Blipper. You're also off the team, just so you know. Please. Oh.
Yeah, I don't think I'm faster than this fool, so I'm not even going to try to do another one. Quick attack always goes first, but it has move priority, so I will just do that. Over and over and over and over. Oh, there goes Blip. I'm going to white out here. This is real bad. Like, I don't know what I can do here. Oh, thank you, Chubbo. Come on, poison. Just poison him to death. Just die. Die, please. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Pobo. I guess I'll poison it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's a... That's so stupid. It's poison psychic? Well... That's not good. Okay, well, on the one hand, this means that I don't have to go through all that fucking cave again. But on the other hand, this means that I can't swap out the shitty Pokemon from my team. Damn it! <laughs> Just, I don't even care. I don't care. Oh, for God's sakes. Gonna roll my eyeballs. Camper Alphonse, send out him a rip. Go help me. Alright, I'm gonna keep going until I get to the next town. That might be the next episode. You made me do this, you know. This is your fault that you made me take out this gun. Like this Pokemon that I'm holding right here, this thing is essentially a gun. And I will shoot you with it. This is your fault. We could have had a normal battle, but you forced my hand. And now your death is upon you. Dark fighting. Well, let's take a look at the chart. Uh. So a double resist is dark. It's weak to swirl. That's psychic. I don't have any. Um. Oh, it's weak to flight, and dark is weak to bug. Okay, cool. So if I've got a flying bug... Let's get Chubbo in. Because Chubbo actually has comparable levels. Not amazing levels, I understand. But... Focus energy, huh? Okay. Okay. Strug bug, go! Special attack, though. I don't know if um, fighting moves are actually a special attack. Stop. Okay. This isn't a terrible fight, but I should ch uh, pull Chubbo out so I don't have to worry about um, him dying in this fight. Because I, I want Chubbo to get XP from this, because it's a, it's a Pokemon that's three levels higher than him. I think he can take one more, though. Yeah. 
I I feel like it's it's. Ooh. He can take. He could take one more. I was correct. Hey, look at that! Chubbo did it. Good job. People don't take Hamper seriously as battles, but we love to explore and enjoy natural environments. Take the time to appreciate Tanner's beauty. <sighs> Please. Yeah, we got to a town. Okay. Hello, welcome to Pokemon. Like to rest? Yeah. Thank you for waiting. Move Pokemon. Okay. Dark fighting, dark normal. Ground. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Atari. And you know what? Goodbye. You're out of here. You're in. Um, you're out of here. So do I want dark fighting? Oh, it's got guts. This one has run away, but this one has guts. Guts is pretty useful. Guts, if I remember correctly, raises your uh, attack while you're... Ooh, and it's got Sturdy. Um... Sure. This is just temporary. Bolty will be back. Bolty's my ace. Actually, no, Bolty isn't my ace anymore. Um, because now I've got Grozer. Or... Turds or whatever. All right. That's a uh, that's another episode of Pokemon Uranium. Um, I've been Alfred. We got to a new town. Um, we have an entirely new team. We have a bunch of we, we've got a lot of power now. Instead of using Bolty as a crutch and then using Helmy as a crutch after him, we now actually have some legitimate power on our team. Um, I'm very happy about that. Very pleased. Uh, yeah, I feel good. Um, thanks for coming by. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad to be recording Pokemon Uranium again. I, I definitely was slacking on it, uh, more so than any other LP. And I just, I banged out a huge recording session. I got like five episodes out of this. I might come back and do one more. I need to go eat food. Um, so I'll be back. I guess tomorrow. You'll see me tomorrow. Um, in a video that was likely recorded months ago. But uh, yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Pokemon Random. Thank you for coming by. Um, see you guys next time.